Hey there, Ruben here for Native Instruments, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Orchestral Tools Berlin series Strings, Woodwinds, Brass, and Percussion. I'll be breaking down a short orchestral cue that uses the full breadth of instruments and articulations from the Berlin series. Let's not waste any time, here's the cue. The collection is completely realistic, flexible, and the orchestral sections work wonderfully together with a consistency that's unmatched by other symphonic orchestral libraries. This collection is pretty much all you need for orchestral scoring, and is recently updated to include full NKS compatibility within the free contact player, including audio previews for all patches. Use Native Instruments NKS hardware to access coloured key lights for playable ranges and key switching, pre-mapped on-screen parameter controls, and more useful NKS functions across the four libraries. Out of interest, it was actually Orchestral Tools who produced the orchestral samples for the Contact Factory Library 2. So if you like the sound of those instruments, then the Berlin series will be a massive upgrade to your orchestral palette. The emphasis here is on solo instruments and sections that blend well together, being recorded at the legendary Taldeck Studio in Berlin, with all performers captured in their normal seating positions. That means that without even touching the various microphone positions on offer, you can achieve a nicely mixed, balanced sound, right out of the box. But if you want to get into the nitty gritty of sound staging and mics, I'll be looking at some of those options as we go along. Likewise, I'll be checking out the detail behind many and varied articulations, adaptive legato, and articulation switching, as well as offering a few composing tips. Let's dig in and break down the cue track by track. There are 25 tracks in total. Some focus on a particular instrument or articulation, as Orchestral Tools has some standout solo patches. Other tracks use a combination of articulations in pre-designed multi-patches. Of course, all of these can be customised. Beginning with Berlin strings, this is a detailed and expressive string section with some useful whole ensemble patches. This one features just the pizzicato articulation across all instruments from the deepest basses to the highest violins. I've mostly used this patch to punctuate particular parts of the cue, occasionally picking up the main melody. Whole Ensemble Spiccato is featured in this next track, a strident sound where I've used the lowest registers of the cello and higher register of the bass to drive the cue along. As you can hear, the dynamic range is pretty wide, from piano to forte. As well as the workhorse ensemble patches, the vast majority of Berlin Strings content is dedicated to instrument section patches. I've picked out a couple of violin and cello patches for the next few tracks. I really love the buttery smooth adaptive legato of the first violins. There are both romantic and strong versions with a different feel. With three different legato speed options from the smooth slurred to fast runs. so that you can match the performance of the instrument to your needs. I've kept it simple with romantic slurred throughout the piece. Except for the last part, 
where sustained control allows simultaneous playing of multiple notes. Especially useful here is the Niente mode, which brings the signal down to silence at low dynamics, set by the mod wheel, and the soft low layer toggle applies subtle filtering to soften the timbre of notes at the lowest dynamic range. Down to a whisper. All of the Berlin series come with standard and extended articulations, many of which you won't find in comparable libraries. This tremolo hook is a great example, an aggressive technique for quickly rebowing a string. This track is the first multi-articulation patch that I've used. Lots of different types of swells, crescendo and decrescendo. Patches like this are so versatile for adding interest and movement to a cue, as you're not hearing the same samples all the time. You program the articulation change with key switches, and can still roll the dynamics with your mod wheel. Here are just some of the articulations throughout our cue. Second violins feature on the next track, a pre-recorded triplet repetition that is much more realistic than programming individual notes. It's worth pointing out that across all the Berlin series, you'll find tempo synced patterns like this that combine really effectively. In fact, there's an entire folder of tempo synced patches that automatically stretch samples to fit the BPM of your music. With a little bit of clever programming, these kind of riffs can be really versatile. Here's the violins with the flute. Moving on to the cello section, this is another multi-articulation patch with sustains, trills, tremolo and more. The default versions of these patches have preloaded selections but you can easily swap out articulations with your own choices. Berlin Woodwinds offers a selection of 12 individual instruments, all deep sampled with many articulations to let you construct emotional solo lines, custom ensembles and complex voicings. I've kept things reasonably simple here with this flute legato line. This track is the triple-tongued flute that you heard before. How this works is you just press and release a key and you'll get three notes played at the same interval. So it's really flexible in terms of timing. There are double and triple-tongued patches across all the woodwinds. Another great example of the consistency of these libraries. The next flute track is a multi, using sustains and trills.
What I love about Berlin series woodwinds is that it's not just the semi and whole tone trills. You get a much greater range of intervals. I've used a variety here. This library contains lots of different ways to play runs, from tempo sync to pre-recorded samples, to playable blurred transitions, and that's what I've used here, with two flutes playing together. The piccolo here takes the same approach with the runs and works nicely with the flutes. Personally, I've always found sampled oboes really unsatisfactory, but the Orchestral Tools one is a standout, so I had to include its lilting legato performance. Rounding off the woodwinds, a clarinet ensemble multi using portato, staccato and trills. Moving on to Berlin series brass, which I'm an especially big fan of. It's got a great bite in the higher dynamics and some gorgeous soft tones as well. I've used both in this cue. Overall, this collection delivers a balanced, rounded sound that matches perfectly with the other sections. One thing I haven't shown off yet is that for all the instruments so far, I've really only used the default Decatree mic position. Have a listen to just a couple of the other mics that can easily be dialed in. Each instrument and section in the whole of the Berlin series was recorded in the same orchestral hall in positions that match regular orchestral seating. That means that I haven't had to pan anything and the instruments will naturally find their place in the soundstage in a realistic way. For this trumpet ensemble multi, I've swapped out some default articulations for other recorded dynamics so that I can switch back and forth between short and long notes for the climax of the cue. This French horn ensemble track is a great example of the warmth you get from these instruments. I've engaged the soft low layer function to roll off some of the higher frequencies at this low dynamic. Out of interest, most of the Berlin patches have multiple dynamic layers, and you can choose the layers you want to use just here. I would have just used this piano if it wasn't for the final section where the power is increased. With a wide dynamic range from pianissimo to fortissimo, the horn ensemble staccatos are perfect for filling out both loud and soft sections of the cue. As well as horn and trumpet ensembles, you also get a trombone ensemble, two individual trombones, bass trombone and tuba. So let's throw in a bit more of that brass.
this trombone legato patch plays some gentle counterpoint using two different attack options, triggered by note velocity. In this case, soft and immediate attack. The last track is all about the tuba. Playing in a staccatissimo style, it also has a wide dynamic range depending on the note velocity. Rounding off this series is Berlin Percussion, a full set of pitched and unpitched orchestral percussion with a choice of sticks and playing techniques for many instruments. Whereas some percussion libraries might just offer a couple of articulations, Berlin Percussion runs the gamut, from rolls and tremolo to glissandi and extended techniques. This glockenspiel is subtle to begin with, and then goes into a staccato riff. The celeste here plays some simple chords to reinforce the piece. Berlin percussion features so many differently sized snares, all with multiple playing techniques. From single hits to recorded rolls that can be played live via the mod wheel. With similar playing options for most of the drums, this huge bass drum is very flexible. It's worth noting that some patches, especially in Berlin percussion, have spot and close mics that you can dial in for a more immediate sound, as well as the usual hall and surround selection, which I've used here to push the instrument back into the hall a little bit more. With NKS, mic positions can be tweaked in a really hands-on way via the screens of your native instrument's hardware. A full range of orchestral toms are included, again with rolls, single hits and more. The final track, a selection of body hits and stamps. Not really typical of orchestral scoring, but I love the sound so had to include them. With a few more tracks and a bit more time, I would have added even more percussion. The breadth of performance techniques in the Berlin Percussion timpani and cymbals are especially good, but we'll leave it there for now. A quick look at the composition itself. As you've seen, there are lots of different instruments weaving around one another, but the cue all sounds pretty cohesive thanks to the consistent sound of the Berlin series. There's not too much messing with levels, just a little volume automation here and there. Most of the dynamic work is done with the mod wheel control of the various instruments, moving through the natural dynamic layers. And as I said before, no need for any panning, as every instrument is recorded in its correct position. Berlin series has a lovely balanced sound right out of the box, but I wanted a little more processing to bring out the slightly more upfront nature of this cue. Firstly, some light orchestral reverb from Native Instruments Realm. You can see the settings here. <laughs> Lastly, 
Gloss Lucim EQ, Impact, Imaging, Clarity, Stabilizer and Maximizer from Isotopes Ozone. This processing was mostly chosen by the automatic mastering assistant, but I did remove some modules to keep the signal chain clean and a bit more transparent. To finish up, let's take another listen to the track, showing all the MIDI. To check out Orchestral Tools Berlin series for yourself, head to the NKS Partner Shop at nativeinstruments.com. And thanks for watching.